Hello everybody. This is a in rather interesting set. This is the Elf Clubhouse. Kind of like a sequel to the gingerbread house that was previously made for Creator Expert. Except this time, this is its own line in the 18 plus adult targeted theme. So, uh, this is in preparation for Christmas, but obviously as you can see the set came out quite early. So, let's take a look at this house. And here it is, the Elf Clubhouse. Now as you can see, there's nothing, there's uh, a, there's plenty of things being broken out, like the gingerbread house, there's this stuff, there is the elves, and there's the Christmas tree. And I guess the most logical way first is to get the big thing out of the way first, which is of course, the house. So, let's take a look at the house. And here is the box, again this is a black box, meaning that this, is, this set is intended to be targeted for adults, although by all means a kid can still pick up the set and still have massive fun of it, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, so this definitely looks like a more mature printed box. It is not as big as you would imagine if you think about it, but yeah, it's pretty nice. So it's a set 10275 with 1197 pieces. Then move on to the back of the box, you can see all the play features, the dimensions, and everything else that you can do. So yeah, uh, what more can I say? This is the box for a hundred and fifty dollar set, so it is not too much of a hassle of a box. So this gingerbread house is a predecessor, I mean this elf house, my bad. This elf house is the predecessor, to, or the sequel. So this elf house is the uh, sequel basically to its predecessor which is the gingerbread house but this is a much smaller house as you can see but it's still filled with lots of decorations such as the very first thing you'll notice is these Christmas lights just dangling off to the side there is plenty to be seen there and that is absolutely fantastic look at all these lights shimmering brightly as the sky there's a nice array of colors going on in these lights, you have the green, blue, red, green, blue, red, just a nice Christmas pattern going on, and that's that's really nice. So I guess we got the lights out of the way. I mean, let's take a look at the roof. The rest of the roof here is all white because this whole thing is covered in snow, which is good. And the design of the front here also looks pretty neat. You've also got the Christmas brief down there, and then you got the main door. With just a random tree on the side. Over here we've got a uh, sign, street, name, post, sign thing with the North Pole going that way in the workshop. This thing is a little bit tilted and that is done intentionally on purpose. That's pretty nice. Um, these windows got the snow, also pretty nice. The door itself is built in a very festive, stylish way. Open that up, you get the elves to walk right inside. Perfect. And on this side, you just get another, like, I guess it's like a stable or something you can store the reindeer in um, here, I believe. And yeah. And then moving on to the back, you'll notice that there is this uh, chimney going on right here. In this chimney, we've got a little stove top, which you can remove out here with a pan on top. Then we've got some fire going on. As you can see, Look what I just did, I just dispensed some cookies because this is acting like a cookie dispenser and basically what this does here, you can dispense, or waffles, my bad, they can dispense waffles right into the pan and then you take that out for the uh, elves to eat, I guess that's what they like to eat, these little waffle pieces. So I guess it's like a waffle making machine and of course you can always restock by putting your pieces through this, feeding it through this little hole, then we just do it one more time. There you go. It's actually a pretty neat play feature. I find that, that it's it's a it's fun, and I definitely like the concept of it. The fact that you know it can cook its own waffles that is actually pretty cool. And then up here, further up the chimney, you got the Christmas sock. And then just for a, more of the architectural architectural build of the chimney with the two fumes, that's very very unique. And of course, you have access to the inside of the house through the back. Now, of course, the chimney can actually be altered if you don't want the chimney facing out like this. You can actually just fold it in like this. That way, back here, you actually get a little more room and to make it look more 
realistic, but I feel like with this little gaping hole right here, it looks kind of awkward, so it only makes sense if, yeah, I think that looks much better if we put the chimney on the side just like that, so that's pretty nice. Now, let's take a look inside the house. Let's see what's there. So number one, up here we've got a light brick. Yes, the set includes a light brick. And what does it do it as? It certainly does not snap off like that. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so what it actually does, what it's supposed to do, not break it, is this little uh, red pole up here, which you press on that, and then that will light up this lamp right here, as you can see. So what that does is, once that light brick is activated, it illuminates light throughout this entire house, giving a little more depth. So. Of course, the only place it'll really be affected is here, because the light brick isn't all too strong, but there you go, as you can see, the thing is flashing. Now, up in the second level here, we've got a triple bunk bed. Not double, triple. Can you remove this? Not really, but I might as well do it anyways to show you guys. There you go. So, triple bunk beds for three sleepy elves after a long, hard day of work. To sleep in so that makes all the sense and then we've got the mat on the side we've got like a little cabinet thing with a, not sure what that is on the top um, and then on this side we've got just a chair I guess the fourth elf has to watch the three elves sleep that is kind of depressing I'm not gonna lie there's this uh, bedside table with a lamp on it that's pretty neat and uh, as for uh, down here, we've got a clock. Now this clock has a play feature, a secret play feature. Now remember how I showed you, showed you can't remove the bed, but then you can re realize I can still move it, right? Well, the clock, once you turn it back and forth, it can start rocking the bed in action, basically saying it's time for the elves to wake up and get to work. So the clock will shake the bed violently to wake up the elves. Yeah, so that is that's a pretty cool play feature, you know, the thing that's hidden here. And that definitely will make the elves, you know, definitely wake up from that. Now, I forgot to show you this earlier, but all the way back here, you can see there's a calendar marking December 24th, which is Christmas Eve. And yeah, that's a little hidden little gem that basically... It's like a, you know, because it's a calendar, so it's like a hidden work schedule for the elves, you know, because after all, they have presents to create and to deliver to happy children. So, yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, I mean, like, all the other dates are crossed out, and then you're just left with Christmas Eve. So that all makes sense. And, yeah, so just a little hidden Easter egg at the back. Now, moving down to the clock, we show you the clock already. Now we just have the main ground floor room. We've got the tables on the side where the elves can eat. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see hidden very back here, there's a family photo of the elves with Santa Claus. That is, that is pretty, that's pretty adorable. And then, the last thing is basically on this side, we got the tea kettle, and then we've got like a little, I believe that's like a, a present wrapping station. Because there's a present there and you just got the paper right now here. So yeah, this will basically wrap the presents. And you got the scissors here to, you know, cut the paper after you finish wrapping the presents. And then the last thing we're going to show you is on this side. We've got a bunch of, we got two, a pair of snowshoes attached here. And then, on this thing, on the balcony, we have a telescope looking into the sky. I guess the elves' job is to scout for Santa Claus as they, as they as he rides out to deliver presents. So this is one final thing, just a little balcony with a telescope on the top. That's pretty, it's pretty unique. So yeah, apart from that, that is it for the house. Uh, so like I said, it's actually not too big. So don't expect too much out of this build. It's much smaller than the gingerbread house. I'll definitely say that. But yeah, so that's it for this main house. Let's take a look at the other stuff. And here's the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is actually built pretty decently on this set. I actually like this one better than the gingerbread house Christmas tree. Because the star on the top here looks really nice, especially with the yellow glowing piece or transparent piece in the middle. We've got the ornaments on the side of all the individual studs. That's pretty done. That's done pretty nicely with all these different different colors. 
giving this Christmas tree a lot of variety and definitely it would be a pretty neat poly bag set of its own. But yeah, I believe this Christmas tree is definitely better than what we've gotten before, so this is a good one. We've got a couple more side builds here, so all small little things. Number one, this one being a minifigure scale of a big pirate ship, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed by this on for the, you know, given that this is a, a very micro scale built ship. So that is done pretty nicely. This is, this is, I am quite impressed by this. It's pretty nice. And then this one, not too much impressed because it's just so basic and small. It's just a, it's just an airplane built in micro form. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one, but oh well. And we got two presents, one, one big, one small, nothing too special. Um, what more can I say? They're presents. They're literally just presents. And then we've got a keyboard here. Oh yeah, now here we go, getting some more interesting things. This is a pretty nice keyboard, I must say. Uh, this is printed, of course, and it's done pretty nicely. So that's the keyboard. And then the best thing we probably have here is this is this um, computer with the nice list on it, because you know the Santa's got to find the nice kids to deliver presents to. And this is a pretty old-fashioned computer. It's, as you can see, it's those thick computers from the olden days. Yeah, not bad. This is probably a pretty impressive, not bad for a micro scale build. This is done pretty nicely. So there's that. And that's all the side builds. Here is the reindeer and the sleigh included in this set. Um, the elf driver driving the sleigh. We'll take a look at him in a second once I remove him from the sleigh. So here is the main sleigh, which is built really well. You know, it's a one person, one seater sleigh. And I, yeah, that's, that's done pretty nicely on it. I'm, it's a pretty, it gives a pretty Santa Christmassy style build. So that's done, that's done pretty well. Now as for the deer, of course, we can always remove this and we're going to do that now. But if, then again, that's going to look a little bit awkward given that there's like a slot here. But then of course you can fit a minifigure onto this deer and ride it. Now this deer mold, I gotta say, pretty smooth. I mean, this isn't new. We've gotten a couple deer molds in the past. The antlers are actually soft plastic. I was actually expecting them to be hard plastic, but that's not the case. They are soft plastic. And yeah, so the mold itself, it's pretty good. Not bad for a reindeer. That's, that's, that's done really well. Um, definitely my first reindeer. I know Legos made several of these in the past. But yeah, this I am quite impressed by this. This is this is pretty cool. He's a basic deer. There is a really nothing too much going on on him. He's a very simple print. Yeah, so there's that. So that is the deer in the set, and that's probably my favorite thing in this set. Finally, the minifigures, which is basically four elves. That is it. That is all the minifigures. No Santa Claus is not included in the set. So elf number one got a scarf. They're all short, by the way. They've all got the shorter shorter legs no second face and yeah this one's probably my favorite one from all four elf figures this one's probably my favorite and yeah he just looks this one looks pretty good and then this one's got like a loudspeaker I guess for directing orders and what to do when they're working this guy is pretty cheerful he's got some freckles though hmm that's that's gonna be a little awkward but yeah this guy not bad at all for a little dude like him and I believe these Two are just like simple, plain old workers. Here's the other one. I think this one's a girl. Yeah, this might be a girl elf. I might be wrong, but yeah, is that. And then we've got the the nerdy elf, the smart guy with the glasses, of course. That one's done pretty well. No second face, of course. None of these elves have second faces. I'll say that. So there's that. So from these four elf minifigs, definitely. This guy was. This guy stands on top for me. So yeah, that's the mini fix. Final verdict time. This is, I believe, hundred and fifty dollars, hundred and forty dollars, and it's much smaller than the gingerbread house. I'll say that. Is it worth it? Um, yeah, I guess. If it was a little cheaper, it would have been fantastic. But you can't expect too much. I mean, this house is actually genuinely pretty small. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have too much going on. It's like, it's smaller than the gingerbread house. And yeah, it's about the size of an average Lego house. So 
it makes sense. It makes sense. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, the minifigures, all the elves, that's a good selection. The reindeer, probably a new, a new animal, I believe. Actually, we've gotten the reindeer, I think, a couple times before, but definitely uh, one of my favorite features of the set. The Christmas tree looks pretty nice, but yeah. Apart from that, I will give this set a final toto of six, a seven out of ten. Cause I feel like these micro builds are a little bit weird, and there's just I wish there's a little more with this house, given the price is you know hundred in the more than a hundred dollar range. But apart from that, definitely not bad whatsoever. And thank you so much for watching this video because that is it <laughs> so that's it for this video uh if you enjoyed what i said make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more and we will see you all in the next one because i've got more content coming your way we'll talk to you again very soon